Hi everybody, I'm Rick Cole and this is Lunch with the Cardinals, the daily update of Cardinal Athletics brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty. Happy Good Friday to you. It's going to be a very busy Friday here at Jewel with uh, most of our teams home. Let's get started right away and tell you about softball. They'll be playing Illinois Springfield at 3 o'clock this afternoon in a double header. So if you can, make it out to the softball field. If you can't make it to softball, go across the street to baseball where baseball is hosting UMSOL as well this weekend. It'll be a new noon start today and a noon start tomorrow. Speaking of baseball, here's Mike Stockton. He gives you a little bit of a preview of what the Cardinals will face against the Tritons this weekend. It's that time of year where you just have to, to go on short rest. That's the bottom line. You know, we had conference games earlier in the, on the weekend. Then you have a midweek doubleheader with conference. And now we have a four-game series on shortened rest because of Easter Sunday but our team knows that, we talked about it, and you know they just have to step up and, and we'll have to throw on short rest. Tennis is taking on UMSL as well this afternoon at 2 o'clock. That'll be at Clayview Country Club. Here's Paul Warstel with a look at today's match against UMSL and tomorrow morning's match against Maryville. And we're excited to uh, play our upcoming matches this weekend. Uh, we host uh, University of Missouri-St. Louis on Friday, and then we host Maryville University on Saturday. This is a chance for us to continue Great Lakes Valley Conference play. Um, we're 0-2 in the conference so far. We lost to Rockhurst. The men lost to Rockhurst, and the women lost to Rockhurst. And then both teams lost to Drury this past weekend. And so um, we're excited to get back in, in play here and looking forward to a, a great weekend. We have, uh, we're going to have an opportunity to celebrate um, our seniors uh, for the men on, uh, on Saturday. Kyle Holt and Jake Sibowitz are both seniors, and so we get a chance to honor them this weekend. We're looking forward to that and kind of dedicating this weekend to them. And then uh, we'll get an opportunity to celebrate Senior Day for the women um, this coming Tuesday as we play Missouri Western State University. Um, Carolyn Clinda is our lone senior on the women's side, so we'll be uh, honoring her for, for that match as well. So. While softball, baseball, and tennis are all home this weekend, track goes to Searcy, Arkansas for the Bison Challenge. And head track coach Tom Eisenhower gives us a look at what to expect down in Searcy. Uh, this will be a D2 challenge meet. Uh, other schools competing will be Drury University, Missouri S&T, um, obviously Harding University, us, and a couple other D2 schools. So, as far as on an individual basis, you know, our athletes do very well. I mean, our team is composed of Division II athletes, and um, you know, even in the previous years when we were competing NAI, you know, we still stacked up very well with Division II teams. Uh, the biggest hurdle and biggest challenge we've got to overcome is our depth. Um, you know, if you look at a team uh, based on the number of athletes they have in each event, the number of relays they can put up, you know, that is our biggest weakness. Is we don't have the numbers yet, and uh, my staff and I are working very hard to. To do that, we've got a stellar recruiting class lined up, uh, probably one of the most talented and probably one of the largest recruiting classes that the track and field teams here have ever seen. And so um, it'll be really exciting to, uh, to release all those names and that information here in the next couple weeks. And Finally, to end up this Easter weekend, men's golf will play on Sunday at the Avila Invite, and the Cardinal women's golf team will play Monday at the Avila Invite as well. Baseball this afternoon, you can hear the Cardinals live against the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Our airtime on the William Jewell College Sports Network is 11.40. Tim Crone and I will have the play-by-play -play of both games today against UMSL and both games tomorrow. That's it for Lunch with the Cardinals for this week. Hope you join us on Monday, and remember our show is brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty.